And good evening, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Outlaw PD Gaming, playing WWE Champions 2021. I'm Outlaw PD. And uh, here we are. Uh, before we begin, a um, little bit of uh, news. Um, if you've watched any of my past streams, you hear me always talking about uh, my cats and how uh, they like trying to get into my lap while I'm streaming. And there was one in particular that uh, always found her way into my lap. And um, over the weekend, she sadly passed away from cancer. I know uh, Friday night I mentioned that she had been sick and that I needed to take care of her. Uh, so normally where I have uh, witty uh, quotes or music lyrics or whatever underneath the link of my roster, I put up one of my favorite pictures of her where she uh, climbed up into our Christmas tree and was looking out of it. Um, it's going to be weird doing a stream without having anyone come down and try to claim a spot, but... Oh, I'm going to miss her. Now, what the hell is that? All right, that should fix that. Um, now, exciting news from within the game. Uh, over the weekend, something... It's like magical happened, almost something out of a movie. When I left Friday night, um, the faction had nine members. Now, if I go into my faction, and you look up here, the Hillbilly Gyms have 100 members. Not exactly sure what happened. Uh, I know, I mean, I did some small recruiting, but it was never anything big so i'm guessing perhaps the hillbilly gyms showed up uh with the um auto joints for people with factions uh but uh we flew right up there was like 50 some at the end of saturday and was full last night and we keep having you know have maybe have one person leave and another one comes in so it'll be really interesting to see uh, what this faction can do. Now, taking a look at it, uh, my main account, 932, Mr. Green, 2366, 735, and then Colt B1, he was one of the original nine, uh, 382, and everybody else is 200 or low. So I'm guessing this is all newer people who um, uh, made their way in. But it's it's going to be exciting to see what we can accomplish having a full roster. Uh, let's take a look here at one Damari. So league level nine, four star. Uh, I just forget his name, but in a couple three stars, Bam Bam and. Booker T. So, I mean, a lot of uh, players just coming into the game right around the same point I am, I guess. Let's see how we all can do. Um, I haven't looked at the blog yet today, Black Hammer. Um, uh, at least not fully. I know that um, some of the um, new things are supposed to be starting up. Uh, we'll see. If that's available here in the portal, the uh, new type of tours. But yeah, the game is supposed to be getting a big update. We'll see what all that has with it. First, since I'm in here in the faction page, let's clear all these out. Having 100 members, so these get done really fast at the low levels.
And another nice thing I'll show you here in a second. For uh, the longest time in the stream, we had these two uh, expeditions sitting at four of seven needed. Now uh, I got expeditions running and pretty soon, uh, I think we're up to level 13 now, level 21 will unlock that one. It's pretty nice. Take a look here in the shop while I'm here and swag store grab some heal tokens or cash <laughs> coins all right and that takes care of that one so let's head on out clean up my inventory and my rewards. I claimed this on one of the nights that I uh, wasn't online, uh, but I wanted to save it for the stream. So let's see what we get with this. Lots of good superstars or shards for them. Who knows? 400 more. Walter shards. And I think I've had some of him before. Up oh, halfway there, up to a thousand. Seven vault coins. That'll be fun. TP. Hundred and ten Champa shards. <coughs> Still a long way to go with him, though. All right. And our rewards. Getting to the contest area, that's going to be the most interesting thing. But got to keep up on all these goodies. There are all these uh, uh, street profit uh, showdown medallions um, because I didn't play because of the cat. Um, I did not uh, get a chance to redeem them, so wasted opportunity there. else in here we need to claim all right
and we'll come open those up later. Grab our free bag. All right, let's go out to the loot, open up all those. Being just gotta be cat. Well, we've got enough cash for one. What can we get? Let's assume common. No. <laughs> Any of those characters would be exciting. Bean shards, Goldberg shards, which won't do me any good. Token chests be helpful, but yeah, since the odds aren't in my favor there, we'll hang on to our cash. All right, the Snoop Vault. 15 goes at this one. I should have done just two. And that would have got me to level three. There's some truth shards. Well, I need 3,000 to <laughs> recruit him, but you get to recruit him at five star. Diamonds. For my uh, main account, I started uh, making the list of uh, all my superstars. Um, hopefully, I'll have that finished by uh, Friday. can share that with you. Since people are often asking. Two more to go. Our chase thing right now is this Godfather, a four-star bronze character, if we could luck into him. Lots of stuff still available, though, so the odds aren't in my favor immediately, but... There we go. Half a million coins. That's pretty good. And the last one. You know what? Miranda would tell me to go for it. Actually, she would have told me just to give her cheese. All right. It's an epic token. We'll need him at some point. A character would have been better, but that's okay. So... Let's go out here and see what we have out here. 
Nothing new here. Let's go into the showdown because I know I need 45 of them to get out of League 9. Take a peek at the shop. I have a thousand here. And that's going to be a new superstar. Let's do a match here, and then we'll go take a look at Anderson. There we go. That looks like a good one. Uh, from my other account, I know Anderson has a very interesting trainer ability. We'll take a look at that here in a bit. So because of the ECK link, matching blues uh, gets me or loads those up quicker. No blue matches there. Even if I do leave any blue around, uh, Kopi's going to take them. He's going to get the kick out there and make his tag. Bring in Big E. Nice cascade into a pin, but nothing I can't get out of. Twenty thousand. This shouldn't take long. That's gonna be a tough one for him to kick out of eleven thousand. Uh, he's gonna cascade out of it though. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Nope. But even still, only 2,000 left. And if uh, Christian doesn't get him with the diving elbow drop, Kurt will get him. Keep throwing blues around the board. And it doesn't matter what we do, we have it, so let's break those blues. Okay. That takes care of our showdown match. Still need 38 more, but we can worry about those at a different time. So we've got a faction feud coming up this weekend. There's a gauntlet blitz going on right now. We still have the Tucker blitzes. And a couple of tours here. Um, 
Let's go bake it with Snoop. Right here, Snoop bake has some nice special ingredients. All right, so we need a showboat. Now, this is one area I'm weak at. My showboats aren't the strongest. we do with Typhoon here. Okay, so we have all the necessary tokens. We just don't have the TP to um, take care of his moves, but let's upgrade him a little bit for this. That's right. I'm supposed to, after we finish uh, <coughs> upgrading him, we'll go look at Anderson. Don't want to forget that. So if we stumble into the blues that we need, we'll be able to upgrade him to two-star gold. Anyway, heading back out. I mentioned Anderson. Member of the club. We'll give him a level just to take care of that one. Anderson moves. Swivel gun. Deal 53 damage and destroy a gem for 10. The sit out power bomb, 41 damage, and make a random gem into black. The cap kick, this is the interesting one. Two MP move, deals 13 damages, damage and destroys a random one by one area, area. So every other turn, you can use the cap kick. And as it levels, it'll uh, destroy a slightly bigger area and you can use if it manages to hit purples you can use them multiple times it's trainer ability at the low levels moves to generate purple gems create one more good on its own and never goes up but as he goes higher then he starts generating more trap gems 1500 choose, create one more 5000 create two more really interesting uh, that he, uh, he can work uh, on two different types of gems for certain superstars. Okay, so since we only need blue, let's go 
and open up all these gift boxes. Let's see if we can get the blue that we need to level up Typhoon. Some tier four medals. I need to get a belt on someone first. NWO title, four star gold token for tricksters. All right, that's some TP. That'll give some hope here. Come on, blue TP. There's six. Okay. <laughs> 80 more, 20 more TP though. Hundred and seventy more, and lots of uh, medals. Open these up while we're here. Fresh. And TP time. 250s. I'm looking for some blue. No good. Twenty two tens. Should get some blue out of this. Hopefully it's enough. 20. Mm. Oh, that's 60 yellow. That's going to come in handy. That was the other color I was weak on. And all that other stuff we'll worry about later. All right, so. Typhoon got a green arrow by him. That's good news. Means we can level a move. Needed 40, have 63 now. Bam. And. Bam. Go ahead and level them up. Just need some microphones. Obviously, we need all the moo points again as well, so we're not going to have the blue, but... Shouldn't be long until we can get him into the three-star club.
After we get him to three star, we'll take a look again at all the showboats I have and see if, because I, a lot of people use Typhoon, so maybe I can find somebody else to work on. But it, he's good to have for these low level tours. Oh, anyway, um, the tour that we were heading into. Clear them out and faction contests. There's three cooking based competitions going on. Uh, New Day Pancakes. Apple pie baking. Why well, they chose apple and not cherry, I'm not sure. And birthday cake baking. So the ingredients that we will hopefully get out of that tour will help towards this contest. Everything is still can be collected, so everything we get will be good. Faction Blitz Contest. Apple Pie. And birthday cake. Okay. Let's go do some matches. So we got the rock as our coach. We'll have more heal gems that we can make. greens to start off here. Nice wild card. Do some damage. I have two moves set up for next turn. So make those four into heels. Um, we'll get them all with the wild card there. Three more randoms.
That's going to carry all the way across and get us a pin. So, like uh, Black Hammer was talking about, um, there's a marching into March contest that's coming up starting tomorrow, it looks like. Beginning on 224 at noon Pacific. So, yeah, that's tomorrow. And then version 0 0.49 will be coming out. Okay, the stipulation tours will also start tomorrow. So, a lot of good stuff coming up. Uh, interesting things to try out on Friday's stream. Uh, as for this board, yuck. Hey, Fish Camp. How are you doing tonight? Another one of the original nine, or original, actually original seven. Actually, he was part of the original two. <laughs> of the Hillbilly Gyms. I genuinely am excited, you know. I imagined, uh, you know, maybe get getting like 20 or 30 and doing some okay things. I never pictured going from nine to a hundred in two days. Two loot boxes here. Let's see what we can get. Yeah, the coins are good. Most important thing are those bags. Attitude era. Ooh, this might be a draw. Oh no, I got lots of attitude. Not exactly the way uh, I meant that to come out, but it works. Yeah, we still need lots and lots and lots of tokens for Kurt. So we'll just leave him here at eight. But 
I should have a full complement of some trainers, so let's make that ankle lock a little bit longer. Thirteen thousand, twelve thousand first turn. Not going to be enough, but he's hurting. I'm going to have to use them. <coughs> but the blue move set anyway. Make a nice six break here. Cascade into a pin. Quick uh, thank you goes out to uh, Gareth Bailey and Chris Stewart for um, comments and uh, following on YouTube. Um, if you've missed past episodes, uh, they're all out available on YouTube or will be available shortly. Had a good one. It's not out there as Fridays. Um, one thing that Chris pointed out was... Um, in his case, he was talking about the Dead Man Daily Tours as a league requirement, having to do so many matches of them. But the similar thing works here. Well, it's like... So for League 9, one thing I need is win 50 limited time tour matches, and I'm 38 away. If I wanted, I could do this Bray Wyatt match 38 times. It would count. And it would uh, get me through it. All right, Godfather. Hall of Fame. This is going to most likely be a loss since that's the only Hall of Famer I have. And he ain't leveled very far. But. Yeah, it's gotta be, gotta be what it is. Let's try them out. What's the worst that could happen? I lose. So even if I do sneak out a win, there's no way I'm three starring this with a superstar this small. So normal is gonna be as far as I get in this tour. Godfather is a fun character to play. A one MP move. It just sprays heal gems. 
So wearing him down takes a while. Here it goes again. More heal gems. And because it's a one move purple, unless he breaks purple, there's nothing I can steal. Shoulder breaker. This is going to spray loot boxes all around. Now the key with uh, Godfather is to have uh, Mr. McMahon as a trainer. He makes loot boxes that much bigger. Only dealing one damage from each of them. It's a slow process. But <laughs> didn't leave me anything to break. Ooh, mine did two damage each. Big hitters there. Yeah, I'm not even going to do any damage to him. Look at this. Now that move doesn't move the pin bar, but Still pretty good. Yeah, the chance that the, those loot boxes will make a wild card, giving you an extra turn. All right, we need a one-turn miracle here. Let's see what we can do. We need the purple to either land here, here, or there. Nope. So now we get to see one of the most exciting finishers in the game. A few more heels. A few more loot boxes that won't move the pin bar. The damage counts, though. I would have dealt three if I needed it. <laughs> Things felt so good, he gets to do it again. He's just toying with me now. Okay. <laughs> Second use of the scoop slam in one turn. And finally, his fifth move in the turn, the pimp drop. Boink. All gems turn into loot boxes. And that's just some ridiculous cascading, because why not? But if you're um, farming, Godfather's a great character just for that reason. His finisher guarantees you get all three boxes. Oh, as long as you win. Okay, so Roddy tried. Roddy got crushed. Back to the main line. Definitely worth doing here. A million coins. That's pretty nice.
Sting's a pretty good character as well. Takes a while to get to his finisher, but the other moves are nice. His first two yellow moves both uh, generate green gems in one way or another, and both of his green moves generate power gems. The four of them combined are pretty quick. All depending on what trainers you have and or what belts and what medals as to which direction you go with, whether it's the two green makers or the two power gem makers. All right, a trickster. No. Fuse Honky Tonk Man up. Three stars. Lots of purple, we can get him some levels. Makes his fish drop a lot better. Okay. And because he's three star, we should have a new move now. So depending on what type of uh, opponent you have, you have the elbow drop. This one makes greens into purples. The other countdown gem move steals purple TP. So depending on who you're going up against, whether you use one or the other. One turn countdown gem. That's pretty nice. Okay. So he messes really well against uh, people needing green and people needing purple. Let's see, 
purple, purple, purple. Gem damage. Okay, I don't have anyone for purple yet, so. Steel health, make countdown, and bonus. So really, it's not much exciting I can do here. I already have the one purple one on. I don't need a move charge. Guess I'll take a gem defense of some sort. Not the most glamorous thing, but Yeah, we don't have to worry about power gems as much anymore. Get him up to level 80. And let's go battle some. I guess I could have used um, Bray to have that ready on turn one, but it's such a cheap move. Probably would have been better than Red Gem Defense, though. Spray some reds. Thirteen thousand left. Take half of it. So now I have some options here. Well, that's going to make my options less. I could put the elbow drop in and wait one turn to use the finisher after it makes the purple gems. But since his finisher is ready and since he's in danger, <coughs> fist drop. And actually, um, Becky's going to come in handy right now if I have to use a trickster for this last match.
Yep, it does require a trickster, so. Because it is power gem hungry. A one MP move that creates him. So this will slow him down a good bit. And you can see there the down arrow over his big boot signifying that I do have a reduction. his health back. Now, when he has uh, someone like... Um, Striker Triple H is, I think it's Striker Triple H that creates more power gems. It becomes real annoying. The board fills up so fast. Same as um, uh, Ricky Steamboat. He has a 1 MP power gem move. And the board can fill up fast. Really didn't need that countdown gem. The fist drop was enough. Last but not least, a mixed tag match requiring a Ric Flair, Jack, and a Showboat. Jack. Looks equal on paper. Let's see what we can do. Start there. <coughs> Similar to Sid, Ray can be annoying because he has a one turn or one MP move. Every turn, a two by two area is going to be made into multiplied gems.
Probably not the best place for that to end up, but let's bring in Becky. Wow, that was a good bit of luck there. Now we don't have any reinforced gems on the board, so. Oh, speaking of reinforced gems. So I can make four, break five. So the question, yeah, that's probably a good spot. I know I'm gonna get three yellows and a purple broken here. Find yourself in the same dilemma at this point. Um, no reinforced gems left on the board. All right, so. His finisher won't finish me, even if, if even when he does, makes four extras. But my finisher could finish him. So let's try it out. Nine thousand, and then the bleed damage is going to take him down to eight seventeen, meaning he has to kick out in one turn, and it didn't happen. Not bad. Not bad at all. So we got through all it, seven of the eight matches. Uh, but that not having a Hall of Famer or a major Hall of Famer is the downfall there. Not going to be able to take care of that match. But Since we're here, let's open these up. Couple microphones that we need. And our five baking bags. Now we still, every item was still on the table, so no matter what we get, it's going to help the faction out. Hopefully we get some of the rarer ones. Two. Two items. Four salt. One baking powder. Okay.
Okay, so looking back at the contests. And these are under faction contests. Competitions. Four salt, one baking powder. So we were at 22, now we're at 26, so that's decent. And one baking powder, got that one to halfway. Now, now we're, since we're here, so the fact, uh, this particular competition has Defeat the boss in the Gauntlet Blitz normal mode, a maximum of 75. That's been done 21 times by the faction. Defeat the boss in the Champion Blitz hard mode, that's been done once. And defeat the boss in Hell mode, it's been done three times. And um, the three times were by my other account. Now, being in a new a new faction with uh, upcoming or yeah, growing members. Most of them aren't going to be able to do the hell mode. So my other account could try to carry the hell requirements for the whole faction or um, just sacrifice some of that as the and as the faction grows they'll have the chance to uh contribute within the hell modes and hopefully we could fill all of these It'd be interesting thing to keep an eye on over time for requirements like that seeing what is beaten what isn't since we're talking about that, let's go take a look at a blitz. <coughs> the Hell Mode 1 only has two battles. But you can see um, you need one of the Viking Raiders, a four star, a five star. Slick Rick, two four star golds, Ken Shamrock, an Attitude Era four star, and one other four star. So, uh, in my other account, I'm able to fill, I'm not, I don't have a Viking Grader, yeah, Viking. Raider, and I don't have Ken Shamrock, so I can fill the other seven, and my first match is using um, Acrobat Eddie. He wins on turn one. My second match uses Bam Bam, who has his stun on turn two, and that's usually uh, good enough to beat the uh, two matches really quickly. But having the necessary superstars, the second match is a X-Pac, and he can be a pain in the ass, so having the chance to stun him so he doesn't do anything at all is really beneficial to this. Hard mode. The top two aren't needed. But see, two two four star slots I won't have. Slick Rick I won't have. Ken Shamrock I won't have. So at most I could only fill three of the seven. So I'm not going to be able to do hard. Well, let's take a crack at a normal one. So 
So once again, Shamrock, don't have him. We'll go with Booker. This can be anyone. Goldberg. This can be any flair. So we go just go with the one I have. And at this point, uh, uh, we'll put Tucker in. Why not? And yeah, let's go with Honky Tonk Man. Why not? Three hundred tickets. Still have eighty nine hundred. Uh, so could do this a whole bunch. And we'll start off with Typhoon. Adam Cole, another superstar with a 1 MP move. Can't wait till tomorrow night so we can see more of Heel Adam on NXT. I think the Elimination Chamber was a decent pay-per-view. Um, my predictions weren't the best. Um, I got the women's tag match and the U.S. title, right? I missed both of the chamber matches. We got Roman beating whoever came out of the chamber, right? Yeah, these super kicks start to stack up. Certain times you're able to do it multiple times in a turn, and you can have three stacks of the damage. Yeah, you can see there on the on count one, he had two turns worth from one and one turn from another. All right, Ricky Steamboat, the dragon. Now this is the acrobat one. This isn't the uh, one I mentioned earlier who has the one turn power gem spam.
mentioned a couple episodes ago that I started getting followed by Scopely Furpo. And um, when I was out on the forums, I saw his profile there. He's one of the main moderators and for the WWE Champions Game Forum. So thank you for all your hard work that you do there. From past experience, I know moderating of forums can be a thankless and tiring job. All right, let's take a look at <coughs> excuse me, Ricky's moves. I set up a one MP. We got a two MP. Make a one by two area into cross breaks. That's pretty darn good. A four. Choose a row to make into multiply gems. And another four. Choose a column to make into multiply gems. So if you sync all three of those up nicely, that's pretty nice kick in the head. Actually, let's see it all at work here. Now, you should have done it the other way and made the row in the column first because that's going to wipe out the cross break that he had. Now this row is going to be touched. Yeah, the AI is just not efficient sometimes. I think he's blue so I can do a little bit of healing. I feel like I'm in control of this match right now. As well, he hits a lot. He's not hitting hard. Nice thing is I get to choose which ones I'm making into heal gems. So we'll take the three that I know I'm going to break. And we'll put the fourth over at 3x. No damage to him, but 3,000 health back to me. Have them in danger. Just need to get that pin bar across. Now, multiply gems can make that a little bit more difficult because he's able to move it back pretty easy.
Okay, so try to leave that. Uh, I'm not going to be able to. Okay. So I didn't get a don't have a row or column break to end it once again. Not getting the cascades either. We might lose this match. He would have had me right there. So we still need a cascade to get the win here. And there isn't any <coughs> obvious places for one. So... All right, we finally got it. Very slow, but got the win. Okay, on to match three, Drew McIntyre. Now remember, in a blitz, you can't heal up, so I could have switched superstars to go up against Drew, but we're going to run Typhoon until you can't run anymore. The hope is that we get lots of blues and are able to heal multiple times. Speaking of multiple blues. Should have no problem kicking out of that, but as long as he doesn't get a big cascade out of this reshuffle, we should be good. Okay. Put it on the three loot boxes because they were only going to do one damage anyway. Put the fourth on the yellow so that we maximize this. And back in it a little bit, 4984. Fortunately, this bleed's gonna that missed. The thing with his bleed damage. It's 28,000, but there's only an 8% chance, so. But it's only a two-cost move. All right, we're going to get a pin here. I should still kick out of that. But our finisher is ready for next turn. So if we can survive this.
There's danger. Dodge the cascade. We're not going to have enough time to get blues to heal anything. So in this case, it's just win and move on. Typhoon got us through three. Okay, Bret Hart next. Ah, let's just jump straight to the big gun here. up his two green moves here a little bit. Both got to get to level 10 before we can upgrade him or evolve him. Uh, we're both fighting over greens. He likes black. I like yellow. Not quite where I wanted that, but that's okay. Smash <coughs> brought to you by WCW. This Brett better not be wearing a But an armor plated chest protector. This is just doing damage. It's not, it shouldn't mess up what we're attempting to do here. And that's blow up his column. Uh, 
and that's match four. Earthquake. The chase character when Typhoon was the Bree character. He likes reds and yellows. I like yellows and greens. So let's take these reds off of him. He's definitely a guy that got robbed. He should have beat Hogan for the title at least once. Uh, not setting up my move, but I'm leaving him with a wild card. So, eh, unfortunately, he didn't want it. Uh, okay. So, we'll go here with that. All right, I get these three greens, these three blacks, this whole column. If that doesn't do 5,000, I'll be surprised. Do you really think Goldberg could press slam uh, or earthquake? Last but not least, the one, two, three kid. So, like I said, uh, Hell Mode only has two matches. It was the first match against um, Adam Cole and the last match against the one, two, three kid. Costs more to do, but fewer matches to get through. So you can get through them quicker. Plus you earn more points. Eighty nine thousand. So what one, two, three kid has this spinning crescent kick. Forty five hundred damage plus bonus damage for every protect gem. Missile drop kick at choose eight. That's nice. And the one, two, three kick. 37,000 and increase the strength of your protect gems. But you see a flaw in this move set. That's dealing with protect gems. That's dealing with protect gems. That's making yellow gems. He has no way of producing protect gems. So. Um, that wasn't good, but outside of straight damage, there's really not much to worry about. 
So if I give him blue wild, wild cards over and over again, I'll have a lot to worry about. That could be trouble. That was a big ass combo. All right, we're kicked out. But he has his finisher ready. Yeah. Slow that pain down. Because I'm not quite ready to lose yet. I'll just do the 4533. Still. Two turns away. This will get me one yellow and two green, so it's probably my best bet. Another 45-33 from a kick. Oh, what a beautiful leave. So that's going to make six random blues into reds. That's not going to mess up the wild card there on the left. Twelve thousand left. Except when I click the wrong thing, I can mess it up. So I'm going to lose this match because I screwed that up. And but only seven thousand health left, and all the superstars I have left should be able to finish it. Dialogue victory. <coughs> Everyone loves a good dialogue victory. All right, we got the four guys left. Still need to do 7,000, so. Actually, let's go with Booker. Don't have a good reason. Just seems fun. But if I can't do 7,000 damage with four superstars, I don't deserve to play this game. Almost half of it. All right, two thousand to go.
I don't put him in danger. Just need to get a pin now from someone. And there we go, got it. Hey. Come on. You can lay in my lap. Said lost my normal lap kitty uh, yesterday, but still have one that wants to do it every so often. Come on. Good boy. Just don't lay on the bo volume button. You've had that issue before. All right, so that takes care of that blitz. Okay, and at this point, there's something I need to check real quick. So I'm going to take a five-minute break. We'll split tonight up into a uh, two-parter like I've done before. So if this is the only part that you're watching, uh, thank you for watching tonight. Check out my past episodes, tinyurl.com slash outlawpdgaming. Uh, Follow me or get in touch with me on Discord, Outlaw PD3842. And hopefully I'll see everyone here in about five minutes. But if not, take care and talk to you Friday. <laughs>